All right, my bad. So what basically fell out was um, the chariot and the seven of swords in reverse. So with that being said, you already know Divine Feminine, we not playing no games in 2019, period. We already know that's coming straight out the door. You, know you get me? So we're moving forward triumphantly and we're going to be successful we got our emotions together you know we're being led by dragons so we have protection surrounding us we're good we're moving forward you understand so we're moving we're in transit however i feel like some of us may have old-fashioned thinking you know so i feel like some of us might need to update some of our technique and you know in saying that i feel like a lot of you guys are newly single, so I feel like once you kind of got out here in this new world of just being single and kind of being by yourself, you realize that there's a lot of deceitful, sneaky, like not only was your divine masculine that you were dealing with that you snuck away and you got away from because this person got caught. Um, I feel like you're catching a lot of other people in their BS too. And I feel like that you are having to kind of update your approach and your the way you deal with new people going forward because I feel like you have not been out in this dating world in a long time and you're realizing that shoot you might have jumped out of the fire into the out of the pan into the fire and it's the death card. So um yeah, I feel like you were trying to end like an old way of thinking. Whatever the old way of thinking that was that got you caught up in that situation uh, where you felt like you were being misled and uh, misused by the divine masculine, you don't want to deal with that anymore. You want a true king, the king of wands. So like I said, you guys are moving forward. You guys are moving forward triumphantly and you're going to be victorious in this journey. No matter what, you're going to be victorious in this journey. You just have to change that old mindset and that old way of thinking because that old way of thinking, that old way that you used to be is what kind of got you, um, you know, easily. Like you were vulnerable to, to these type of manipulative people, you know, this old way of thinking, this old way that you got to be and you got to kind of update. You got to update, you know, you got to put an inch into the way that you used to thinking the way that you used to be, okay? Because right now you want a true king. You want to, you know, it's like you want someone that has the good looks, has the nice body, has the charm, has the sex appeal, has all of the things that you love in a divine masculine, but is a true king, is a true man of honor, is a true man of value. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like in order for me to obtain that i have to change the way that i was thinking you are at this princess of cup stage is you're still this very loving this very caring this very nurturing person but you have to like rebirth yourself from like a princess stage and you got to learn how to be a princess and grow to be a queen all over again because you're totally different this princess of cups she you see her you see her fashion, you see her colors and everything. She's up to date with the new technology. She's up with the new fashion. She's up with the new trends. She is everything and everything. Okay? She is everything and everything. Okay? This girl can cook up a storm. This girl can finesse anyone with her words. Her words are like poetry almost. Do you hear what I'm saying? Like this girl is true royalty and of true value and of true stature, but she is learning how to be the queen that she is destined to be. Now, this is quite a book that fell out here. All right. There is something that is not being illuminated in your life. There's something that you can't see. I feel like you don't really see the true quality of the queen that you are. You know, you don't really understand. Um the true value of what God sees in you. You know, I don't I don't think you have faith in this process right now. Um, I just think that things are not coming to play the way that you want them and you're constantly moving forward triumphantly. Like you're you're moving forward and you're making progress. Um, but I think just going throughout this journey, you're still bumping into these people, you know, that 
they try to get over you with you know little sneaky little mental manipulating words and things like that and you get them caught up and they get caught up and you're just like look i already learned this shit from my divine masculine like he done taught me everything so i'm already hip to y'all and i can easily say ashes to ashes death <laughs> dust to dust and, and and just call an end into that because i want a true king and i just feel like that's just frustrating you that's frustrating you because you feel like a baby out here amongst these wolves like truly <laughs> truly and i feel like you know stop trying so hard stop praying and, and, and wanting so hard for love and focus love and self give yourself service to love itself serve yourself with love you understand what i'm saying don't worry about dressing nice and putting on, you know, alluring perfumes and all that stuff. Do that shit for yourself because you're that bitch and that's that's how you feel because that's how your flavor is. You understand what I'm saying? That's your flavor. You feel me? Anyway, regardless. And I feel like maybe because you've been trying so hard and you haven't been getting the results that you want, like you just haven't been happy, then something is not being illuminated to you that you don't have to do all of that. You don't have to do all of that, you know? That's why, you you know, these true love coming to you, new love coming to you is just being blocked because I feel like you don't have to do all of that, you know? And not only that, I feel like that there's still some heartbreak looming around about this um, family unit that was broken. Like, whatever, if you guys went through a divorce, your last relationship, y'all lived with each other, have y'all had kids with each other or something like that, this breakup... This divorce is still in your heart very much so. And, you know, <laughs> whenever you go back to those energies and you think about that, like, it, it, it brings the worst out of you. It truly makes you a bitch. Like, I feel like anything, anything can come and trigger you to make you think about this love lost and the fact that you, this family... You know, like you lost your family, you lost the love of your life, you feel like you lost your soulmate, um, you're not having any luck in love, and it just makes you bitchy, it just makes you, it just, it just, like, <laughs> it really makes you up fucking set, it makes you upset, and it's just like, you know, the fact that you had to, like, pick up and just move on like that, because you were really dealing with some serious bullshit, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like, even though that you don't pack your shit up and you don't got in your boat and you don't move forward, I feel like it's still a daily battle. Y'all fighting. No, this is the Six of Pentacles. But no, I'm still feeling like this is a daily battle. You guys fighting um, the thoughts and, and, and about how much you had to put into that relationship and how you had to just kind of pick up and leave everything behind. And just right now, what you really want is someone who's going to give to you the same way that you gave to to them and i feel like it, that that's what makes you mad there go the six of swords there we go the six of swords you want someone that's going to give to you like you gave to them you don't want to have to pack up all your swords and just like for your mental sanity you have to get up and leave everything the fuck behind and move on you know and i feel like a lot of you guys did this so that you could be mentally strong enough for your kids because the situation was fucking you up so bad it was like you weren't mentally aware and you weren't able to be at peace and at harmony you know and, and in regards to you you being there for your kids and it's just like, I need to mature. For me to mature, I had to move the fuck away. And I want someone that's going to give to me the same way that I give to them. I don't want someone that's just going to, you know, I know how to put my swords down. I know how to put my swords down. And I know how to do it now before I fought and I fought and I fought and I fought where I almost didn't have nothing left in me because this person was just so mentally just conniving and just like wicked this person didn't have no moral didn't have no respect for what it was doing to me inside you see what i'm saying and it tore you up and that's how that's why you had to just kind of you had to leave not only for your mental sanity but for your kids because it wasn't allowing you to grow and it's still not allowing you to grow because i feel like you're not able to make a true decision. This is the this is the um 
alien. And if you look at this in the upright, and you see this alien, this person, you see right here. So if you're having sex with someone, you're mixing your DNA and their DNA, and it's just like, you know, then it travels up here and it affects the heart and then it affects the mind. And I feel like when you've been with someone for so fucking long, and especially if they were toxic and just very low vibrational and stuff like that, and you were feeding that into your body for so long, for so long, it's like really... It's, it's to the point where it's not even the heart that you're worried about. It's the brain at this point. You see what I'm saying? It's the brain. And it's it's like... You are fighting this. With this being in the reverse, like you are blocking that. You are really trying to... Release and clear your mind of this. Because... I feel like you... You, you, you get triggered a lot, Divine Feminine, where... It's like you get triggered a lot because you just want someone that's going to give to you the way that you give to them. You don't want nobody that's going to take advantage of you. You don't want to feel like you're giving charity and no one's giving charity to you. You just want something where you're going to be able to grow and that y'all can be able to eventually get married and have a family and true commitment and like happiness together. Like seriously. And it's just like... You're not getting the results of that. But it's, 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 you can't, it's not something that, it's not something that, um, you can just pray and it's just going to come to you. Because at the end of the day, if you don't love yourself enough to learn the lessons that you needed to learn throughout this phase of your life, you're going to turn around and you're going to attract the same type of negative people and you're going to make the same mistakes. So that's why God is trying to tell you to be a service to yourself right now. Love yourself. And everything will happen in divine timing right now because right now if you're not happy... You're, you're, you're going you're gonna to attract the wrong people to you. You're going to attract false love to you. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not happy. And you'll be willing to accept anything. Because right now at this stage, you're not mature enough. You're still at a princess stage. God is trying. A princess next to a queen. That look like some old R. Kelly shit. You see what I'm saying? Like that just don't even look right. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you had to... Like I said, get rid of, you have to continue to move forward and get rid of an old way of thinking, an old way of being. And that's what we're doing right now. Because I feel like maybe still in your approach, like you might be meeting new people, but still your approach and even how you deal with people, I feel like it's a little outdated. It's a little old fashioned. That's not how people operate nowadays like i feel like you need to get hit with the time and stuff like that and just chill like you don't even gotta be doing a whole bunch of shit i feel like when you just chill and you just lay back and you just be cool and don't seem like you so eager like you just want love like someone someone who seem like they want love you never gonna get it just chill when you just loving yourself and you just vibing on yourself that's when you're gonna try what you need to you it's all in divine timing it all, all in divine timing. It. It's all in divine timing, uh, divine feminine. Please give me guidance. One divine feminine for April. Thank you. All right. Believe. Yes, you just gotta believe. Oh, and strange encounters. So listen, ladies, believe, be a service to yourself. Please love on yourself. Pamper yourself. Love yourself. Don't focus on trying to conjure and work up and do some type of, you know, ritual. Unless it's like a self-love ritual. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's you getting up in the morning, getting out the shower, rubbing coconut oil all over your best and your booty and your boot all over. You, you know what I'm saying? Getting yourself all nice and moist and getting yourself smelling good, looking good for yourself because you want to feel beautiful. Because you believe in yourself. And that's what makes you happy. Girl, that's the only thing that you need to be doing. Believe. Strange encounters. Let's get into strange encounters. Ooh, what's going to happen, girl? What's going to happen? Mm-hmm. 
Let's see what this says. It says, do you know, I always thought unicorns were fabulous monsters too. I never saw one alive before. Well, now that you have seen each other, said the unicorn, if you'll believe in me, I'll believe in you. Is that a bargain? When Alice and the unicorn meet each other through the looking glass, neither of them quite believe what is taking place. For the unicorns, humans are legendary, particularly human children. He never quite believed they were real and thought of them as fabulous monsters. Alice, in her own way, says she never thought unicorns were real, neither. And there they are, two fabulous monsters, and they each must accept the reality of each other's existence. This could be taking place in your, in your life at the present. You could be meeting people whose experiences most unlike those you've ever met thus far. You may be encountering spirit beings or mystical events that make you wonder at the very nature of reality itself. Once you have experienced the strange reality of people unlike yourself or of spiritual encounters with guides, visions, or prophetic dreams that leave you marveling at the universe, you can no longer deny the existence of such things. Then your existence will seem just as strange to others. This card asks you to accept that others unlike yourself exist. They will then accept your differences too. In this way, we can believe to believe in each other and live side by side as differences and as different as we may be. Meeting people who are very unlike people you have ever met before. Mystic events and particular experiences. Interacting with different cultures, customs, and belief systems. Mystical encounters with Elemental beings who interact with you, finding they are just as real as you, discovering new places, environments, even climates that are different to you and you have or anything that you have ever experienced before. Something unusual that is most delicately as real as you are. So basically with this Something strange is about to happen to y'all. I need some. Mm -mm, give me some information about this strange world. What's going on about this strange encounter? I feel like you guys are going to meet a rare unicorn. Someone who is just as. I want to say as weird as you are because I want to say not weird in a bad way because I'm weird. and But I love my weird. See. I love everything that I am, good, bad, and, and the ugly. I truly, truly do. <laughs> I truly, truly do. And I feel like I'm a special little unicorn. I always say, oh, a special little butterfly. So, when I meet people that are just as kind of, like, unique as me, it's just like, I instantly kind of, like, fall in love. I don't <laughs> The Eight of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Why does she always look so angry? The Empress. What is this? The King of Swords. What is going on? The Six of Swords. Okay. And you moving the fuck on. Yeah, you move on to your fortune. You're like, I don't got time. All right. So, strange encounter. This is the strange encounter. <laughs> um, I want to say someone from the past might come back, and it may be a female. Uh, Sagittarius. Uh, Aries or Leo female someone from that has something to do with your past something that you left something someone that you left is coming back to confront the Empress <laughs> to confront the Empress and uh, you see how the Empress is looking like well what the fuck is going on like and this bitch look real mad for some reason y'all 
this bitch look real mad. And this is a situation that you left behind. Like, you like, um, I don't eat swine. And as soon as some swine touch my cups, bitch, I say I don't give a fuck. I don't eat motherfucking pork. Okay, bitch? So once you find out some swine had touched your cups that you were offering or that had been offering that had been offered to you, you said I wasn't interested no more. And you moved the fuck on. So it looks like the swine is coming and the swine is upset. Don't she look like a big ass piece of fucking fat neck ass fucking swine big turkey neck ass looking fucking bitch? Look at her. Oh, you the queen, huh? Oh, you, oh, you the queen. Okay, so what the fuck you want? What the fuck you want then? Queen, what you want with the empress? Bitch, I birth queens. So what the fuck you want? Don't be coming at me, catching me off guard and shit like that. Yeah, my motherfucking, my, yeah. My girl came to me and was like, yeah, you know this fucking bitch is at the dough. What's she at the dough for? Huh. So, and this empress looks pregnant. This empress looks pregnant. So, <laughs> huh. Hmm. Strange encounter. Strange encounter, you guys. King of Swords. There's a King of Swords in the picture between a Queen of Wands and the Empress. Or either, I don't know if. No, these are two different women. These are two different women. You have a mad bitch, and then you have. A pregnant bitch. I don't know. Like. And it's like. Mm, 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 what is going on? However. This is the king of swords. So the king of swords. He is there to like. Dish out some law. Some fact. Some truth. Some evidence. To kind of sort things out between these females, basically. To sort some things out between these females because you got one empress and you look like, you know, she looks like she's expecting something, okay? And it looks like people are courting her, taking care of her, trying to make sure that she's in her best. You know what I'm saying? And then you got this other queen, the mad queen. Then you got the mad queen. Divine Feminine, I am truly hoping that you guys are not the Mad Queen. Because <laughs> I don't know, like, our Divine... Because I'm just like, listen, I don't know if you guys are the Mad Queen. And I don't know if you found out that someone's pregnant. And you're going to the King of Swords to find out some truth here. You understand? Or I don't know if this is... The person from the past and this person thinks that you're expecting and she wants everything sorted out but it's something that's going on something's coming back from the past and something's coming back from the past but as soon as it comes back and it confronts you you just like bitch I don't do this I don't do this like I already done left before because this shit was not mentally stable and it was a whole bunch of fucking drama. I left before and I'm going to do it again and I'm running to my fortune. Like, listen, it's like I don't got no, I don't have nothing to do with this shit. I don't have nothing to fuck to do with this shit. So I don't know what you think is going on, sis. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like I, I, I feel like it might be a strange encounter where it's a mad queen, you know, that's from the past or has something to do with the past that you left because it was swine in the cup. And here come old fucking Ghibli neck ass bitch thinking you pregnant or that you expecting by this king of swords. And she want to know what's going on. And you like, I, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Do I look like a bitch that fuck with niggas that look like this? Bitch. Please go to fuck on someone. Both of y'all look like some big...
fucking ghibli head neck ass mother if you don't get the fuck off my phone like shit i feel like somebody might call y'all you know what i'm saying i don't know i i feel like i don't know like i have a this bra going call did this bra go she from the past she's from has something to do with the past this might be the swine that was sitting in the cup. That's why you left. The swine that was sitting in the cup. That's why you left. It's gonna call. It's gonna call you, and she upset, and she pregnant. You understand what I'm saying? Either she upset, and she expecting, and she wanna know the truth. What was going on? You understand what I'm saying? With you and the King of Swords, she wanna know some facts. <laughs> and or she's calling you upset because she thinks you're pregnant and she wants to know what's going on with you and the king of swords she just wants some she wants some facts she wants to know what's going on with you and this king of swords or what's going on and you just like um i don't do drama i ain't got nothing to do with this i'm running i'm chasing this wheel running to my fortune i don't have time to do with this like i really do like what the fuck <laughs> Please give me some information about this. Because, like, I, it could be evil way, y'all. It could be evil way. After the bitch is mad and she pregnant, and she didn't know what's, what's the tea with you with this king of swords and why you left. Boom, that's it. Boom, that's it. That's it. That's fucking it. That's fucking it. That's it. This is someone from your past. Someone from your past. Someone that has something to do with your past. This bitch is uh, the king, I mean the queen of fucking wands right now. She's ever, like I said, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries woman. Okay? And right now, I feel like she got a little bit of weight on her. And she might got a little bit of weight on her because she's expecting. But also, even though this is the Queen of Wands, she's in the throne and everything like that. She's, a, like, she, this bitch clearly looks mad. She clearly looks upset. And she doesn't look comfortable in this pregnancy right now. She does not look comfortable in this goddamn pregnancy right now. And, I, I mean, you know the King of Wands, I mean, the King of Swords, he can be very cold. And, you know, he can be very cold and distant. And you know how the King of Swords could be. So this person might be coming to you trying to figure out, like, what was going on with you and that and Humpty Dumpty that made you just leave for your mental sanity. What made you just leave like that and, and run off to your fortune like that? Because this person sees that you're way more fortunate now that you left this person. I feel like there might be a strange encounter. Like this person wants to know what made you leave. Wow. What made you leave? Wow. This bitch is pissed. This bitch looks so pissed because she she's waving the flag of love and shit like that. But she just she don't look happy. She don't look happy at all. And both of these cards, the bitch is big and fat. Mm. And I ain't never seen an Empress card where it looked like it says you were going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. You're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. I feel like there's something that's going to be very unexpected that's going to come and happen. Where you might have to be of service. And you might have to operate out of love. So I feel like if y'all have like a strange encounter, I just want you to always believe in yourself and keep your, know that you are a magical unicorn and that you are a rare special unicorn and you keep your crown on your head. Don't get out of sorts. Do not get out of pockets, ladies, because at the end of the day, this bitch is mad and miserable. You the one that got free. You understand what I'm saying? So... If someone come is coming back from the past that has something to do 
with the past that's looking for some type of truth or want something. Want to know what's going on. Just know, you know what I'm saying? Like this, 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 this some shit that you're going to have to deal with. Just look. Deal with that shit with grace and with, with some dignity. Like I feel like this might be the test. Don't believe every sh shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. Okay. Well, what was the other one that just... And it says fuck fear. It will lie to you in your face. Okay, so what is this saying? So you're going through some tough shit. Don't believe every shitty thought that you have. Fuck fear. Okay. So I feel like right now, Divine Feminine, that you guys have been going through. I feel like in regards to love, that you guys are fearful. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you're on this, 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 this hamster wheel. And you're just running, running, running. You're racing to your good fortune. You're waiting for you to kind of stop and just like witness this. You know, when I, when can I get off of this wheel? And like you're just chasing this. And you're just like dealing with the with, with all of these different cards. And you just like, when am I going to get the right hand? When am I going to get my luck? You understand? Because you're really not trying to feed nothing into your body and into your mind, into your heart, into your soul. That is poisonous because you're tired of... You're tired of just these new long-standing opportunities where it can like be fruitful and grow. You're tired of just not having opportunities in love and finances and just in luck and in life, period. It just is not around for the long haul. It's just going to stick. So it's just like everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. I feel like it's time. It's like everyone has... There are times in life where they're going through some fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? But don't let your fears and don't let your thoughts get the best of you. You know what I'm saying? That's what spirit is telling you. Because your fears will lie to you in your face and your thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. You know what I'm saying? You just going through some tough shit right now. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your ass up and it's time to handle it. You see what I'm saying? And that has nothing to do with this because, bitch, this don't have nothing to do with you. When that bitch call you, if the bitch call you, just be like, listen, um, I didn't have no one to give me no advice when I was going through the shit that I was going through with this motherfucker. All right. You prided yourself in taking my dead weight. <laughs> Enjoy it. Be careful what you ask for. Enjoy your night. I wish you the best. And hang up the fucker phone and block the number. Because I don't have nothing to do with you. So if a bitch that picked up your motherfucking trash gonna come to call you and asking you questions about why you set your trash out on the curb, bitch, you shouldn't have been dumpster diving. Don't ask me why the fuck I set my trash. I set it out because it was trash, bitch. What more you need me to tell you other than it was trash? Duh. The fuck? So you don't have time to focus on that. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're trying to like manifest new love. You're trying to manifest greatness into your life right now. You know what I'm saying? Like You really don't have time to be distracted and dealing with fuck shit. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like that in itself is a test. If you guys are tested in that way, ladies, if someone from your past or, you know, to if the karmic call you or somebody call you or a family member or whoever asking you, well, why did you leave this person or whatever, whatever's going on. It's not none of their business. Don't let nobody drag you back into that shit. You see what I'm saying? And just know that you're going to be tested and just know you're constantly going to be tested. And if you're feeling alone and lonely right now, everyone goes through these cycles. You understand what I'm saying? You got to learn how to embrace being alone and if you keep lying to yourself if you keep listening to your thoughts telling yourself that you're always going to be alone you're never going to find nobody you know what i'm saying fertility in the reverse what is this material spirit and spiritual prosperity you're not able to birth anything new. you're like infertile right now what is this? Triumphing and success. 
authority, emotional withdrawal. Okay. All right. So, and I feel like a lot of you women, um, I really want to say like, I want to say some of y'all might be going through a pregnancy that you might not want and you just feel like you don't have no authority in this situation for some reason. I just feel like I feel like, um, what's this? Materials and spirituality, material and spiritual prosperity. It's it's like I feel like some of you guys. I I feel like I'm picking up on the energy of the, uh, of of whoever's pregnant. If someone's pregnant, there's someone pregnant. There might have been someone who went back to their past and it might have got pregnant. Or there might have been, I, I don't know, who the, whoever the, whoever this is that's pregnant, okay? I feel like there's someone that is going through um, a, a pregnancy that they don't want right now. They feel like it's going to bring them material, material um, misfortune and not only that, but... Just it just this whole situation just spiritually just bringing them down right now. Um, they feel like this situation is is all of the triumph and success and everything that they build up in their life is just going to slowly just like f like fall away. You know what I'm saying? Everything that they work for is not just going to be about me and everything. You see, number one, it's not just going to be about number one anymore. It's not just, you know, it's like, I don't feel like this person is going to be able to focus on itself. And then they feel like they're in a situation where they really don't hold any authority. Like their say means nothing. And I feel like they don't want to carry a baby with someone that their say doesn't mean anything. That it's going to bring them financial process, uh, uh, financial um, hardship. You know what I'm saying? And not only that. Just spiritually, they feel down about the situation. They don't feel like they're going to be victorious in this situation at all. Um, I feel like, like, I really, I feel like an emotional withdrawal. And this person is just emotionally withdrawn. Y'all, I really do feel like this is like maybe the karmic's energy. I don't feel like this is the divine feminine's energy at all. I don't feel like this is the divine feminine's energy because I've never had the divine feminine be in this energy before. And I don't feel like the divine feminine is pregnant. I really do not feel like the divine feminine is pregnant. And I feel like the divine feminine. I feel like this is the conversation between the divine feminine and the fucking karmic. I feel like the divine feminine is telling the karmic like you're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. And they're letting her know, like, you know, like, and, and I feel like the, the karmic is letting, is coming at the divine feminine. I don't feel like she's mad at the divine feminine, but I feel like she's just mad at the situation that she's in, in love right now. Because you see, she has the, her love flag, her love flag being waved right now. And clearly this is someone that looks very uncomfortable in a pregnancy. I mean, clearly this woman looks pregnant. And it's, and it's someone that's, that's, that's assisting this woman. Because she don't seem like she knows. I don't know. And she feels like you got the truth. You 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 have the other copy of this dictionary. Of this truth of whatever is in this book. That this person is keeping from them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you know. And it's for something. Something. She wants to know what the fuck made you get up and run away. And you are so much more successful now after this person. How did you do it? Why did you do it? What happened? I really feel like this person 
wants to fucking know. I feel like this is the conversation. And this woman is going to come to let you know, I don't want this baby. Like, this person doesn't listen to me. I feel like ever since this person came into my life, like, I'm not able to triumph successfully no more like I did. I feel like their career might be fleeting. Their financials is fleeting. Spiritually, they just feel down. And I feel like they're going to tell you that. And you're going to tell them, look, fuck fear. You're in a situ shitty situation, I know. You know what I'm saying? You're going through some tough shit. But everyone has their turn. I had my turn with this motherfucker and you had your turn too. It's time to gather your tired ass up and handle it. Bitch, you're pregnant. Like, you don't have any choice. Fuck fear. You understand what I'm saying? It will lie to you in your face. You are better than this. You can move past this and it's fucked up because I feel weird even saying that you're going to be having this conversation with the karmic about this. But I, I, I feel like you are going to be, I really do feel like, like, this is what I feel like, that this is the conversation that you're having between you and this, and this person. Because you're not pregnant, Divine Feminine. You're not upset and angry, like, this person is coming looking for truth and facts and knowledge and this person wants, wants to know the truth. And you're going to tell this person, don't believe every shitty thought you have. I believe that this person is going to call you and this person is going to be talking down on their self. And you resonate with that because that's how you were before you loved yourself. And if you didn't go through what you went through to love yourself, you couldn't be of service to this person. I don't even think that you could be mature enough to even have a conversation like this with this bitch but you're going to tell her don't believe every shitty thought you have thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards fuck fear like you can get through this i feel like you might have some encouraging words for this person like and i know a lot of y'all like no the fuck i'm not no the fuck i'm not but i feel like for some reason some of y'all feel y'all feel sorry for this girl and i feel like this person is younger than y'all or something like that I don't know y'all like I'm sorry like I'm sorry and y'all don't cuss me out in the comments and shit like that but this is what I'm like feeling because I'm just like why isn't this making sense to me why isn't this making sense to me I feel like God wants you to be of service God wants you to be of service because you're maturing you're learning how to change your way of thinking and, and go about things differently Heart to heart conversation. Boy. Give me. Release your ex. I feel like you would need to release your ex. There's still some type of attraction there. And you, you are going to retreat. Yeah. I feel like. I, damn, I feel like your ex going to want to have a conversation with you. I feel like the, his 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 karmic, the girlfriend or whatever, the baby, shit, his baby mama. I feel like all these motherfuckers going to want to talk to you. Like, damn, everybody want to talk to you, Divine Feminine. Like, why do I feel like Divine Feminine, like everyone is about to be coming to you, your ex, the ex-girlfriend. Like, everyone's going to be coming to you wanting you to be of service. For some reason to help them because they feel like somehow you can help them. That's crazy, y'all. Listen, I feel like your ex is going to want to come back and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, too. And you going to tell this motherfucker the same thing, too. Motherfucker. Shit. Don't believe every shit he thought you have. Okay? Thoughts can be a sneaky lying bastard, okay? And look, fuck fear. It will lie to you in your face. So I know you wasn't feeling fearful coming to talk to you, but guess what? Fear will lie to you in your goddamn face. Don't believe them damn thoughts and, and, and you not having fear to come approach me because look, you ain't get the goddamn results you thought you was about to get, all right? And you going through some tough shit right now, okay? Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. You better gather your tired ass up and handle it. Shit. Your motherfucking girlfriend called me the other day. You better go handle that shit. 
I don't know what the fuck going on with you with that. So don't be calling me having no hard dog conversation. You better call your fucking girlfriend who called me crying the other day. Okay? Nigga, that's why I'm glad I, I ain't with you no more. Because I'd rather be motherfucking me on this end of the stick than on her end of the stick. You know what I'm saying? I still love you. You know what I'm saying? I'm still very so much attracted to you. You're still cute and everything. But nigga, you ain't that motherfucking cute nigga. Bye. I talk to you never. As soon as I hang up this phone, I'm going to block this number. So you better savor the memories of the sound of my voice. Because I'm going to block you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Like, like shit. Like, why for... <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! This is hilarious, y'all. This is dead ass motherfucking hilarious. Cause motherfuckers see that look, they, they see this wheel of fortune is 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 turning in your favor. Like I don't know what's popping off in y'all like divine feminine, but shit been good for you. Shit been good for you. Like the motherfucking ex is looking at you like shit. Shit good for her. Let me go and holler at her and shit like that. Cause I don't got this bitch right now. I don't want to be with her no more. You know what I'm mean? saying? Shit, this bitch look uncomfortable. Like she don't even know how to be a mother and shit. Like what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> No, cause like this empress, she do the, she look dumb ass uncomfortable, don't she? She don't even look comfortable with the weight gain. She don't, she don't look like she know how to carry it good. Like them fucking clothes are ugly and shit. Like girl, you just ugh. Like, mm mm, girl. And, and it's like you don't even want this baby. Like what the fuck? Girl, I'm so glad it's you and not me. And that's fucked up to say, but fuck that shit. Catch tease. Give a fuck. Shit, I learned my lesson. That ain't that wasn't my divine feminine. I want my divine <laughs> less uh divine masculine. Shit. Look, divine feminine said it took me a long ass time to learn my lesson, but a hard head make a soft ass and my my damn uh ass soft as a goddamn baby's bottom. As hard as I done had to get my ass spanked in this situation. I took a long time for me to learn, but I get it now that that ain't my divine masculine. That don't that's not what love looks like. Okay? It took me a long time to get this through my fucking head that that was not my divine masculine. So, sister girl, maybe that's your divine masculine because clearly you the one having the baby by. So, um, I hope that y'all good with that because I ain't had no fear walking away from this bitch. I clearly <laughs> reneged my offer very quickly and professionally because I will not be disrespected and I will not be misused. I will not be mistreated and I will I will not do it. I the fuck will not. So I'm sorry you're going through the sweetness, but you need to love yourself and um you need to tell your man to stop fucking calling me and I did you a favor since like I blocked him. Okay? So I'm letting you know like your man ain't shit. Okay, so you thought that you was doing a favor, you know, you thought you was big, you thought you was big puss out here. You know what I'm saying? Taking niggas, taking niggas, okay, right? You thought you was big puss out here, but you took my fucking misery. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, like, yeah, it hurt because I felt betrayed because, well, I was already being betrayed. But at the end of the day, like, you, you thought you was big puss. So, like, why are you calling me right now? Looking for something. What you want me to say to you? What you want me to say? Okay. This girl is unhappy. This girl took up your dead weight only to be unhappy. Like, girl, like, what you want me to do? What, what you want me to tell you? What you want me to tell you, girl? What you want me to tell you, girl? Okay. What you want me to tell you, girl? What? <laughs> I feel like... Some of y'all divine feminists probably going to be very smug and very direct and she might not like it. And it's going to make you unhappy. Like this situation is going to make you unhappy because you're going to be like, I know motherfuckers is not even calling me with the fuck shit. The night is swords. Yeah. These motherfuckers is going to call you unhappy like <laughs> wanting answers. And you're going to be like, huh? What? <laughs> what? And you, you're not going to expect this. Like, you're not going to see this coming. Someone's going to call you very unhappy wanting answers. And they're going to be, like, very aggressive with it a little bit. Because I feel like someone, like, I feel, I feel like someone's going to be accusing you. Yeah. 
they're going to be accusing you of still trying to carry this burden. And you just like, no, I'm not. Like, I stopped fucking with this nigga, like, what, 10, 11, 12 months ago? So, I don't know who the fuck it is that you think is carrying this burden with your nigga, but it's not me, bitch. You might want to look a little deeper in his phone and figure out who he really fucking with, bitch. Because I'm going to tell you what, you call here one more time asking me some dumb ass shit about my fucking ex. Bitch, you really going to be unhappy. Fuck me being unhappy, bitch. You going to be unhappy. I don't give a fuck if you pregnant or not. So, bitch, let me tell you something. Call me again with this dumb ass shit. Okay? Because I'm a whole grown ass woman around here. I don't give a fuck about the unfortunate shit that's going on over there in y'all motherfucking house, bitch. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? That shit don't got nothing to do with me. And I ain't even... To, God, never in my days did I ever thought I would even be on the phone having a conversation with you. Bitch, boom, pow, surprise. Okay, bitch? You better open your eyes and realize that I ain't the one to fuck with. I don't know who the fuck he cheating on you with. It was probably little dumb ass bitches just like you. But I'm going to let you know that I ain't never been the one. You better ask this motherfucker, fam. You better ask around about me, bitch. Checkmate, ho. I ain't the one carrying that burden. Okay? I ain't the one carrying that burden, bitch. <laughs> I broke up with this nigga like 10, 11... 12 months ago, bitch. Okay? So, like, I don't know who the fuck you looking for, but you might want to keep looking for him because the damn sure ain't me. You understand what I'm saying, beloved? And only thing I'm going to do is you calling me all sad and sounding all depressed and shit like that, and I'm trying to give you words of wisdom and shit like that and everything, but at the end of the day, I feel like after this chick found out the Divine Masculine called you, she might call you back unhappy. Like, oh, he called you. I seen that y'all was talking. Yeah, bitch. He called me and I told him the same thing that I told you. I ain't see for you calling me and I damn sure don't see for him calling me. I don't know why the fuck y'all calling me. Bitch, don't make me come and drop a bomb on both of y'all asses. I'm sorry. This is so unfortunate that I have to cuss both of y'all the fuck out. <laughs> It is so unfortunate I got cuss both of y'all out. This is not going to make me happy to do this. But <laughs> I'm just going to give me a bottle of wine and I'm going to uh, meet my girls. And I'm, we we gonna have a we gonna have a good ass laugh about this shit later. But this is not going to make me happy to motherfucking. This is, I, ain't, I, ain't, I didn't think that I was going to ever have to do this. Bitch, boom, pal, surprise. Open up your eyes. <laughs> Don't be surprised, bitch. Who you thought you was calling it? What you thought you was about to get? What you thought you was about to get? More unhappiness and pain. You better get the fuck off my phone. And like the divine feminist. <laughs> Smug as shit. Like, like the divine. <laughs> like, bitch, I'm not the one carrying that burden. Okay? I know you can't compare to me because I'm the one on his mind. But I ain't the one that he's spending time with. He fucking another bitch. It ain't me. So you might want to look harder. I stopped fucking with that nigga a long time ago, bitch. You might want to figure out your situation. You understand what I'm saying? What did it say? You're going through some tough shit, okay? Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your shit <laughs> and get your tired ass up and handle it, bitch. Because he ain't with me, bitch. Okay, that's the reason why I set him out on the curb. Remember, he was trash, but you was a dumpster diver. Yeah, bitch, you going through some shit. I went through mine, and it's time for you to go through yours. Get off of my phone. So I spoke to you the first time I was being nice. The second time, bitch, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. So I'm about to block you. You figure your shit out. Take care now. Bye-bye then. I did my service. Okay, I tried to help you. I gave you encouraging words. You understand? It was only divine timing. I knew that you motherfuckers was over there piss poor, miserable. Because what? What you put out comes back. Okay? And I knew y'all motherfuckers was going to come back to me eventually. Alright? <laughs> so, um, I did my good service. Yeah. Y'all better get some life together. I don't know what the fuck. I'm I, I'm sure. Ooh, I'm, I'm praying that this don't happen to me, Lord. Honey. Honey, but listen, let me try to tell y'all. This is giving y'all 
<laughs> what did they? <laughs> did my watch just ding just to give me the indication? It is ding dong. It is, bitch. This is for you. No, don't do that. Please don't do that, y'all. Please don't do that. Okay, listen, y'all. Because I went on a rant. And I'm going to tell y'all why it took me so long to upload this video. Because I'm trying to tell y'all. This collective energy that's been going around about this divine masculine, divine feminine shit. This shit is crazy. This shit is really, really crazy. And like I said, y'all just thank God that y'all been spared. Because I would rather be in my shoes or in your shoes than in a bitch who's pregnant by a nigga that she regrets being pregnant by someone that is draining them spiritually and financially physically they don't feel successful in their relationship they don't have no authority in the relationship and they feel emotionally withdrawn and they feel like the person that they with emotionally withdrew from them uh-uh Father God, y'all say it with me, ladies. Thank you for sparing me. Because when I'm trying to tell y'all, this shit right here ain't no joke. And I'm a, because I do readings for people all over the world. And when I'm trying to tell y'all, this energy that's been going around about a divine masculine having his comet pregnant, that shit ain't no joke. That shit ain't no joke. You understand what I'm saying? So... Don't be surprised if y'all find out that shit, okay? Because that shit has been going around, and it's very much so real. I've witnessed it with my own eyes, not only with people and that I do readings with, but in my personal life as well. You understand what I'm saying? Directly and indirectly, okay? So, like, this energy has resonated in indirect and direct ways, kind of, sort of. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, not everything's going to resonate, but... The shit that resonate, it fucking resonates. You get me? So, um, you guys just be a step ahead of the game and be mature. You understand what I'm saying? Be cool as a fucking cucumber. If you fly off the handles and shit like that, you give a motherfuckers too much energy, too much emotion. You know what I'm saying? The same way I was like, oh, love and life. I feel so bad for you. Like, don't wish nothing bad on these people. I know these people hurt you and they did fucked up things to you and shit like that. But clearly, they live more fucked up than you are. So just thankful. Be thankful to God that you're where you're at and they where they at. They wanted your life and they got it. They wanted your trash and they got your fucking trash. Be thankful that God spared you. I love you, ladies. Okay? I love you. I love you. Trust me. And if I get a call like this, bitch, I'm going to have to upload this shit because I motherfucking deleted. If y'all would have seen the video that I did the other day, all of this would make sense to you. But I deleted because I, for some reason, I feel like God don't want me to tell y'all. I guess maybe when everything is all, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I just want y'all to just be a step ahead of the game and... You can't control other people. Only person that you can control is yourself. You understand what I'm saying? And understand God moves things out of your life for a reason, honey. For a fucking reason. I want you guys to get yourself excited and prepared for your true divine masculine. Because that pain that you suffered, those tears that you cried, your true divine masculine will never put you through that. That is not true love. Please do not be running around like a hamster on a fucking wheel chasing around a fucking twin flame bullshit. Okay? Alright? I love you guys. If this video resonates, I want y'all to hit the like button. Um, If y'all want to book a personal and private reading, y'all know what y'all can do. Hit that about tab. Click that um, hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. If you want to give a love donation, feel free to do so. I love you guys. I will see you guys next week for the Divine Feminine Daily Bread. Peace.